You say he knocked out 32 socks at us. What's up? Jordan Downs. Y'all already know the deal, man. Y'all tuned in to Grape Street TV. And today we're going to hop in this reaction. We're going to react to Big U claiming that he knocked out 32 South Siders. So if you ain't hit that like and that subscribe button yet, that's what you need to be doing. But if not, y'all already know the deal with me, man. I'm going to bust y'all across y'all head with some knowledge every time, man. Straight up. And make sure y'all hit that bell for all notifications. So when I drop these reactions right here, they pop up on your timeline like the chicken pox. Boop, 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 boop. You already know the deal with me, man. Listen. Tap in. Y'all already know the deal, man. We finna tap into this reaction right here. And we gonna break it down to the very last compound straight up, man. Make sure y'all hit that bell. Cause if you ain't hit that bell, I might as well just cut your water off and leave you flapping on the floor like a fish, man. Straight up, man. Listen. Tap in. Now that I got y'all attention, we finna break this reaction down to the very last compound. So, we all know what Big U been running around saying about him being in prison and being in a race ride with Southsiders and knocking out 32 Southsiders. So, on this little small audio clip, you got Whack Run Honey, that's co-signing it. So, y'all already know the deal, man. Whack Run Honey gonna co-sign anything to make it sound good, so don't tap in and listen to this, though. We gonna check it out, man, straight up. It has a, just you know, on the yard. Oh, uh, BQ. You got the record 32 knockout, big you. You got the record 32 knockouts, one ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over, over, big you said I mean, you know, man, on the pitches. I ain't taking nothing from me, but I mean. Wait, hold on, wait. You knocked 32 niggas out one ride. It was a ride, it was a hundred and, it was a document. 129. Uh, he knocked, that's against 19 blacks. He knocked no 30, 30. I got him sweet, though. That's against 19 blacks. He knocked no 30. Okay, so we all know by Whack Run Honey saying, I'm a Pyro. That really don't mean nothing in his category because he's always putting something on Pyro and he's always lying. So, let me break down the situation for y'all. So, if you have someone in the riot, right, and he's saying that was outnumbered, and it was only 19 blacks. But you have all these Southsiders. So, when those type of riots go on, everybody's already assigned to people, like, within on both ends. You're assigned to, you know, the aggressive people. So, I'm pretty sure how big he was, and he was really aggressive, and he had a reputation in prison. I'm sure he had at least five to ten people assigned to him. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, it's so much moving and going around and, and people surrounding you. Like, you know, how will he know that he knocked out 32 Southsiders straight up? And you can't find that story nowhere in the pen. Like, I'd have been in several different prisons. And that's a story that I never heard. And, you know, stories like that go down in history. And some people become legends off of things that they do in prison. But far as a riot going, South Side is on this side, blacks on this side, and you know, the way they described it, it was less black, so it went up, and bam, they clashed. And I can't just see one man turning around, knocking out 32 people. Like, come on now, man. Sounds a little bit like you over-exaggerated. Super over-exaggerated, like, so. I want to say maybe three to five people, that's possible. But as far as how a riot goes, like I was explaining, 
they set up perimeters, they surround, and you have certain people assigned to you when you high power and you a beast in there, you know? If you seem like a threat, you got extra people on you. So I just can't see this man turning around and sticking, 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 knocking, 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 knocking. 32 Southsiders out. So, you know, I done been in several riots, several prisons. I never heard anybody, like I said earlier, speak on that situation. Nobody has ever said, Big, you knocked out 32 Southsiders. Big, you did this, you know? I never heard those type of stories as growing up, going to jail, you know what I mean? Juvenile hall, camp, YA, in prison. So, it's like, these stories are unheard of until these people get on platforms and want to make themselves seem like they something extra. And some people are doing it to get paid off the internet, straight up. Because, you know, that's a story that's going to catch wind. But, you know, I highly doubt that he knocked out 32 Southsiders, straight up. And another thing, like I was explaining about the riot, it's like soap and socks, knives, people running around swinging knives, you know, razors. Buck 50s across the face, buck 50 across wherever part of your skin. So, at the end of the day, these stories are like, they interesting. But, to top it off, they hilarious. You know? People say they did anything that they think nobody has done before in the gang culture. You know? People try to put themselves on a pedestal like, I'm this, I did that. You know? Not taking anything from Big U. But Big U been around for a while. He did a lot of time. He got a reputation for himself, you know. And, you know, he was good with the hands. So he beat a lot of people up. You can't take that from him. But as far as him beating up 32 Southsiders, knocking them out, I mean, like I said, that got to be a false story. And also, this story has never been verified through any Crips, Bloods, Southsiders, and like I tell people, half of my family is Mexican. My mother is Mexican, so I have OG family that been going in and out of the system from both ends, and I never heard this story, let alone I done sat down and chopped it up with a lot of my OGs about the gang culture of what was going on back in the days and who was who, and you know, who made a big old oppression on themselves by being in prison, and that story was never told. Only one that's talking about it it's Big U. And only one that's really co-signing it is Whack Run Honey. And you got to look at the thing right now. They verify a lot of each other's stories. And they bump heads a lot. They turn against each other. And some of the stuff that I be looking at and seeing, I be thinking it's all for the clout, all to keep the names relevant, keep it going on the internet. So, with that being said, a lot of people got to stop feeding into it. Maybe stop giving these people views. For these false stories and maybe these stories that they're telling such as something like that should also come with paperwork you know like they do the rats the snitches but don't believe the hype man and don't believe everything you hear and believe half of what you see because just because you see somebody with something don't mean it's theirs you know just because this dude hangs with these certain individuals and they treacherous and they doing stuff that don't mean he's doing it some people are just protected by the people that they hang around. But, you know, I'm on here waking the streets, shaping the youth up, and dropping knowledge. It ain't too many OGs gonna get on here and speak like this and tell you what it is, you know? Because some people want to be a part of the drama like a whore and participate and comment and chase this little situation. And, you know, these type of situations turn into race situations like far as you know race wars people start feeling some type of way so you have to think about what you do and what you say and if you don't got the proof then it's a false story or it's just something that you made up straight up so with all that being said i'm gonna bust y'all over the head with some knowledge like if you an og out here and you on here game banking hard throwing your hood up Throwing somebody else hood up with the middle finger up. Like, you need to give yourself a reality check. Maybe kick yourself in the ass because life is going on. And life goes on and time don't wait for nobody. You know, time is ticking 24-7. So, if you on here, you trying to be somebody that you not, it's not the move for you. 
Straight up. We don't respect OGs that's running around here acting like kids and, you know, creating situations on the internet that can escalate to other stuff and, you know, cause the youth to clash on the streets. It can start riots in schools. It can start back a riot up in jail. And it can start neighborhood beefs. So, with all that being said, if you ain't hit that like and that subscribe button yet, that's what you need to be doing. But if not, y'all already know the deal with me, man. I'ma bust y'all across y'all head with some knowledge every time, man, straight up. And make sure y'all hit that bell for all notifications. So when I drop these reactions right here, they pop up on your timeline like the chicken pox. Boop, 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 boop. Y'all already know the deal with me, man. Listen. Tap in. It should be hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs>